What is up, producers? Welcome to Low and Candy. I am Bohemoth, and today I got a dope tip for you guys, something that I just recently found out about, and that is how you can actually link Ableton Live with Isotope RX9 or RX10 audio editor. Let's get into it. Before I hopped in, I wanted to mention that I'm currently doing one-on-one -on -one mentorship lessons on AbletonLiveTeacher.com. Uh, if you're struggling to learn or get better, or you feel like you've been stuck in the same spot for a long time, we've all been there. Uh, working with a mentor is 100% the way to break out of that. I've worked with some phenomenal mentors in the past, and being able to ask someone questions directly has saved me years and years of production and YouTube. So definitely check it out if you're interested. Also, at this point, I'm doing new videos practically daily. So toss me a like and subscribe. It helps a lot. It helps me keep going with these videos. Let's get into it. So... Here we have an 8FX loop. This dude's tight, check him out. And what I wanna do is I wanna take this percussive loop and I wanna extract it. Now I'm a big component of Isotope RX9, RX10 audio editor. Um, I love extracting vocals out of tracks. I love grabbing acapellas and, and slurping them and doing all that. But the only way you used to be able to do this would be to open up a completely separate program and go in there and export it and bring it back into Ableton. And you no longer have to do that. And I'm going to show you how. So what we're going to do is we're going to double click on our audio clip. And we'll see that down here, we actually have an edit button. Clicking this now, it says no sample editor application was found. So what we're going to do is we're going to command comma, which is our preferences. We're going to go to file and then sample editor. We're going to browse and we're going to select our audio editor. Now, if we come back to our audio clip over here, we're gonna click edit. It's actually gonna pull up, it's actually gonna automatically open up audio editor without us having to do anything. So we clicked edit and it just popped this right open, which is super cool. We're gonna go ahead and do our music rebalance. I select percussion, render. And the coolest part about this is once we save it, it actually automatically updates the audio clip. So here we have our percussion. So super dope. I'm so glad they did this. And by the way, you can link this with other stuff. You can use different audio editors. Um, I've used a uh, Serato sample before. Super cool feature that Ableton has decided to implement. I'm stoked they did. I hope this helps someone and I'll see you guys next time. Awesome.